up top, Antarctica is a frozen desert. But venture beneath the ice, its waters are teeming with life. Creatures that hold clues to how the animal world will cope with climate change. Well, we've been given a rare behind-the-scenes glimpse at some of the creatures scientists have brought back to the UK to study. And there are some bizarre animals, believe me. Now, this is one of my favourite creatures. So it's just like the other starfish we were looking at. Except of one obvious and very obvious difference. Can you flip it over so we can see the mouth? Yeah. Um, this one maybe it'll will take a hole and put into there. In fact, it might well have something in there that it's feeding on. Studying these animals could help save lives. From the sea spider that can grow as big as a dinner plate, to the starfish that looks a bit like bagpus. Many are full of natural antifreeze that could be useful in the medical world. The humble sea lemon has no predators. The chemical putting them off might also fight cancer or infections. So there's a range of animals within the Antarctic from things like this to sponges and other animals that live growing on the rocks that could potentially have really important chemicals for human society. So it's like the rainforest where you find medicines. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. You go through the ice and suddenly it's all pitch black and then as your eyes adjust, you look up and you've got this amazing ice cover with these colours, the browns, the greens. It's like this almost it's got a cathedral-like feeling. And then obviously I sink to the bottom, start my work, I could be anywhere. Living in zero degree waters makes these animals grow much slower but much bigger than usual. So this is the same group of animals as the woodlice you find in your garden, but obviously one major difference is pretty big. And this is another example of polar gigantism, so where animals, because of the cold, because of the cold water they live in, can actually be bigger. From health and food supply to the impact of warmer oceans, these animals are helping us to understand the world our children will grow up in. Richard Westcott, BBC News, Cambridge.